Hi, everybody. Welcome to Attack with uh, Larry C. I'm your host, Larry Christensen. We're going to explore some uh, various attacking themes today. Back ranks, rook lifts, sacrifices, uh, long-term sacrifices, and more. Okay, we're going to start off with a little effort from 1972, Leningrad Championship, between two journeyman players, Vadim Fobizovich White, Aaron Reshko Black, and this is the position after Black's 17th move. Knight a5, attacking the pawn in c4. Now White's got a nice position except for those doubled pawns. Let's see how the game progressed. Of course, the first move you would one would think of would be e4, e5, to liberate those bishops and to perhaps explo exploit Black's unfortunate positioning of his major pieces on c7 and b8. So that's how, what the game, how the game continued. And here Reshko makes a defensive lapse he should take and, you know, make White pay some price for the sacrifice. Price of admission, we call it. And here, if White plays Bishop F4, Black has time now to play Queen C5 check. And if King H1, Bishop B7... And White has uh, decent attacking chances for the pawn. But let's say after bishop d2, he wants to remove the guard. Um, but Black is not without resources. He can play queen h5. I think this does favor White. But uh, Black is not without resources. Uh, e5, 98 is a very passive move. And this allows White to really advance his attack with knight e4. And here Black really pretty much has to start taking before being overwhelmed. Here pawn takes, pawn takes, queen takes. Fails miserably to queen f2 with threats all over the place. Bishop f4, bishop d4 is a threat. Um, b6 is on pre. Black is uh, getting decimated. So black tries knight takes c4, which is not just grabbing a pawn, but it's an active move, hitting the bishop on e3. And now white played knight f6 check. That looks like a crushing sacrifice, but it turns out knight g5 would have been a wiser choice here. Here's the fault with the following idea. g6, if h6... White crashes through quickly with queen e4, threatening mate. If g6, knight takes f7 is devastating. And if f5, the end game after queen takes c4, queen takes c4, bishop takes c4, hg5, f takes g5, d takes e5, rook fd1 is extremely unpleasant for black, thanks mainly to the abysmal position of that knight on e8 and the of course powerful bishop pair dominating the board but knight f6 check an extremely tempting move that looks like it has to win one of these rare cases black has just enough defensive resources to hold the balance if he plays correctly Okay, now, if obviously, pawn takes f6, gets uh, destroyed quickly after bishop takes h7 check. King takes, queen h3 check, king g7, or rook, or king g8, queen g4 check. He can't interpose with knight g7 because of ef. King h7, here comes the old rook lift. And black is uh, completely helpless. Knight g7, e takes f6, followed soon by mate. And it goes, bishop takes h7 check. If king h8, white can simply play bishop d3 with mating threats all over the place. 